Another method that we'll use sometimes when factoring is called grouping. And grouping will, will be a method that we need to try when maybe that I have some terms, but I can't find a single factor that's common to all of them. So how grouping works in this particular situation is I'm going to group the first two terms together and the second two terms together. And sometimes you can group them in different areas. Maybe you want to group the first and the third term together and the second and the fourth. As I group the first two terms together, I can factor, I can do a little bit of a mini factor, x squared, and then what's left is an x plus a 4. Plus over here I can factor a 3 out, and what's left is an x plus a 4. Notice how an x plus a 4 in this particular case was left in both cases, in both sides. Well now what I can do is think of this as two terms, this first section and this second section. Do you see what's common in both of those sections? the x plus a 4. And then what remains is this x squared plus that 3. And that's a little bit of a demonstration of how you factor by grouping. This one's going to take a little bit of practice because it's something that might be a little new to us. Let's look at another example. xy plus 5x minus 4y minus 20. Doesn't appear to be anything that's common to each of those terms, so I'm going to use the grouping technique. However, I notice that I have this negative that's kind of separating the first section from the second section. I'd rather in this case work with a positive. So what I'm going to do then is remember subtracting a positive 4y four, four is the same thing as adding a negative 4y. So if I'm doing that then, I'll look at both of these two terms. Factor out of the first one in x, and I'm left with a y plus a 5, plus, I'm going to factor out of this one in negative 4, and I'm left with a y plus a 5. And there you can see in both sections, I do have something that's common. The y plus 5 is common. Then what's left is this x plus a negative 4 or minus 4. And so that's the factorization of this initial statement right there. So be careful when you see it, when you're doing grouping and you're going to group the sections around a negative, change that negative to adding the negative of this next term. So rather than minus 4y, it became plus a negative 4y. And you're going to find success as you're grouping by, by remembering that.